So, you know, basically we've got the computer chipboard in here, and thankfully, you know, these are, for the most part, the plastics, um, the string kind of break down, so it's somewhat biodegradable, but not really, not quite, because, um, you know, obviously, <clears throat> when it comes to the Antarctic Treaty, we're supposed to take everything off of the continent that we put onto the continent. One of the exceptions is uh, meteorological and climatological studies here. Um, so even though we are launching these, and yeah, we do leave them scattered around the continent, the balloons that we use, the sonds that we use, for the most part are biodegradable. They will start to disintegrate over time, but unfortunately not all of it will. But, um, you know, in terms of the science here, in terms of why we're here, it's much more important to get this data collected, uh, to get all the data we needed, whether it's flight operations, forecast, models, long-term climatology at both the surface and upper air, much more important. Um, and just to give you an idea of you know, how many balloons we launch a year, it's somewhere in the neighborhood of about 500 to 530, depending on the year. Pliability to this balloon whatsoever, if you want to feel that. When we blow that balloon up, um, it's going to get very deformed, very misshapen. There's going to be weak spots in the balloon, and that's going to compromise our launch. So basically what we have to do is put our balloons in an oven for about 12 hours to heat them up. And you can see this is a solid block. This is back to a, <laughs> a much softer rubber balloon. So one of the unique things that we have to do here in terms of uh, heating our balloons up before we actually launch. So the one critical thing that we have to do here, because we have so many objects around, is we really have to orient ourselves into the lee of the wind, uh, or else we can get a nice crosswind into the balloon, and the balloon can really go in a direction that we're not expecting, and uh, that could cause some disastrous results. So today, though, a two to three knot wind, not really worried this balloon should go straight up. And uh, we'll just wait here a couple minutes just to make sure that our uh, our temperature sensors and our relative humidity and pressure sensors have kind of reached equilibrium to what we plugged in as the surface conditions. And um, after that, we'll let it go. Um. All right, so we should be good to go. And uh, we'll wait for some of this equipment to move out of the way. And we'll let it go. All right, and here we are, ready? Three, two, and one. <laughs> 